We're live. Get your gloves out here. Geo. Come here. Hey, little guy. Hey, little buddy. Hi. What are you doing? Come here, buddy. Gio's out here. Hi, Gio. Oh, he started walking towards the door. Come out. Tater's going to come out. You want to hang out? Yeah, he wants to hang out. He's waiting. Scratch the ground. He'll come. What up, buddy? Come here. <laughs> Go hang out with Tater. Go on. Hi. Hi. Hi, guy. What do you got? What do you got? You fine, buddy. Don't get scared, Gio. You're fine, buddy. You know, I was thinking, Tay, I bet all this audio is picking up is just my heavy breathing. Have I told you one of my crazy ideas for the camper? I was thinking, what if you cut plywood to that same dimensions as the window and somehow mounted the plywood in that window and it would come in and out somehow. And then on that plywood, you mount like shelves and hooks and stuff. And so we have like a floating shelf there that's over the wheel well. And so it utilizes that vertical space over the wheel well like we wouldn't be able to. It's just an idea. I don't even know if it's possible to mount it to anything.
Oh, so I don't have to write it down. I guess I'll say it. I'm thinking it would be possible to do two shelving units, one on each side, floor por portion here, storage through, I guess, here. And then I was thinking we have a board that literally just fills this window that we can mount shelves to and stuff if necessary. And then we'll have one part of it sit here. Another part can lock in here. This is where the little tunny cover goes. So we can either 3D print a part that fits this or make it out of wood. And also we could do like a little quick release system on this guy to hold it all in place. So it's safe while we're driving. We also have these tie downs down here. One here, there's one under here as well. So I think that's definitely, definitely feasible. We're just dreaming at this point now. I also have this part here, which isn't super sturdy, but just plastic, but that could hold something. Okay, we're still recording. 40 minutes already, that's a lot. Um, same thing on this side. And the extra cool thing is we have a 12 volt socket car charger right here. And so we're looking at the Jackery power stations, like just a little one. They're expensive, but just a little one would be more than enough, I think, I hope. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so put a hole through it and the Jackery will live here or here and be able to plug right in and we can leave it plugged in. The cool thing about those things is they charge while you're driving and we can just plug it in there. I think it's something ridiculous, like seven to eight hours for a full charge, um, but obviously we'll charge it before we leave. And then if we're ever moving spots or completely run out of juice, we don't have to rewire our thing. We can just turn the car on and we'll get power through this, through the Jackery and leave all of our appliances still in and stuff. So I think this thing is definitely doable with all of these nice flat areas. I mean, they're, they definitely have weird curves, but I mean, we can just span this with a diagonal and this won't be too bad to cut out. It'll actually be really satisfying probably to get it good to fit nice there. And then we'll just have to make sure our heights here are good and we'll set it on here, clamp it down here, maybe give a little a little bloop in there. And then if we can connect to the shelf somehow, a piece of plywood that spans this entire thing, this entire window, and maybe wedges behind this and wedges in here. Maybe that piece is what we use this for. It has a little chick chick. And then on this piece of plywood, I'll be able to mount pegs, shelves, hooks, and that way we're using all of this floating space here. We'll have to figure out how to, if we put it behind this, you can't put a shelf here. Um, so it'll have to somehow integrate with the seat belt because I'm not taking the seat belt out. But then we're using all of this floating volume as storage space. So that's the back. I think that's actually, that's really good news. That seems really feasible to me. The next area is this guy right here, ish. So we're gonna have to chop this desk out to here so that we can fold these up and down for the new design, if that is what we indeed go with. And I think with this one, if I'm gonna fully redo this, I'll want a little flip out. Then we could also have a flip out on this one, right? So the seam is here now, two separate flip outs. And that gives me all of this extra space to spread out with because I sleep on this side usually. Driver's side, my side. So that could be a super simple little, just a freaking piano hinge right there. You just gotta cut it the right size and that could be really nice. As long as it'll support weight over here. So maybe this guy, your leg rest would just maybe span that. And then when this guy has a little, has a little chunk of something, so it'll sit, I don't know, I don't know. Also, if we leave the seats in, here's something to note. We have got this, which which normally is your quick release system to snap your chair up. And I could just get a bar this size and attach it to something and then it would mount and snap around and be super secure in there. So that's another point that we could definitely use. And that is if we leave, if we decide to leave this seat back in here. I'm leaning towards yes, just cause it's so flat. But yeah, we're t considering taking that out. What up? couple things to note we're gonna have to this seam has to be back here if we want to be able to flip these up mm -hmm. so we're gonna have to fully redo these two pieces at least yeah. oh there's a resume feature that's cool so yeah this is what we're rocking another big thing that i'm trying to decide is do we do a full floor with the rebuild i guess we don't have to I kind of like how it's how we're maximizing the space and weight by not putting like a three quarter inch plywood floor on there. I mean, it could be like half inch with, it could be like this size with, with some like framing to make it sturdy. 
sturdy. Um, the benefit of a floor is you can put in mounting points um, and have a nice level surface. As you can kind of see this is kind of wonky. It would have a nice clean slate sort of feel to frame out a floor, get all the intricate cuts into the floor or even have it in a couple pieces and then have a nice clean slate to build a completely new platform onto. That could be nice. The only downside is, so this seams move into here because um, we're gonna have this area as a desk because we need to flip these seats up and we wanna be able to do all this while we're in here. So this moves here so that these seats can clear it. This entire new piece is gonna have piano hinges and fold back uh, so that the seats can come up. And if there's a floor, um, that might complicate things, but maybe not. So we have piano hinges here, boom, independent. And this floor also has piano hinges here and it just follows the seat backs up. So that could work actually really well. In which case the floor would probably end here, I would guess. So something to think about. Also, if we do do, <laughs> do, do a floor, we could raise it up to be level with here so that the new platform could have full pull-out drawers, which I guess the ultimate dream would definitely have those. And they're not too bad to, to make, I don't think. It's just they have to clear this. In that case, we're losing a good two inches all around. Like the floor would probably have to be two inches to clear this. So it might not be the most space efficient maximizing design to have a full pull-out drawer. At the, other idea I guess I have that plenty of people do is just you just leave a section with a full length piece of three quarter inch plywood or like a one by 12 piece of pine and with like a little rope on it and that just pulls out and then it supports itself here and then you just have a, a little area and you can do two of those or however whatever you want. You can also like integrate a little flip leg into it it flips out because then you have a little outdoor cooking space. The more things we can integrate into the wood and the platform design that's already going to be in here the better because we don't have a lot of space because like these storage things these new things that i'm going to design those will hold like little quality of life items at best like a fire extinguisher power station and not much else like it'll be like shoes under layers maybe a couple snacks flashlight that sort of gear i also want to get an awning well, i'm not sure if I will get it, but an awning on this side would be dope. Just for, you know, outdoor hangs when we're not in the blizzard. We also got to carry the chairs, the camp chairs, and all that good stuff. I also want a, probably in one of these, I'll integrate it in there, a candle lantern. Um, and I saw this mod where you fill Tito's, like mini shot glass Tito's bottles with a indoor clean, clean burning oil and make little oil lanterns and you can use that as a heat source um, and it's clean burning fuel we'll definitely have a carbon dioxide alarm in here as well as venting the windows as well but and for that i want to put a little piece of sheet metal in one of the shelving units and magnets on the bottom so it definitely won't move but i'm going to shut up now because i'm still you're talking and the sun's going down so yeah this is the current setup I didn't put it all the way together because I don't really feel like it because I'm not going to use it, but we have uh, custom Reflectix window, th window inserts that we made for all of the windows. Um, there'll probably be another video on that. I am going to probably refurbish them. We hot glued them, but we did kind of a dodgy job and it, it started melting in the summer. And so I definitely want to redo those. We have like a three and a half inch Ikea memory foam mattress. Um, and I do want to, so it's a full mattress right now, no folds or anything. And I, this might be a far out idea, but I want to cut it up, uh, to like custom little chunks, like in three, somehow restitch it together. So one of them will be back here with a fold so that it can fold up. And then the other one can detach with the Velcro strip and that, that section, we will be able to detach when we fold this up and use it as our seat cushion because the cushion is out the the seat bottom so that'll be another project that has to get done um that's kind of it the other stuff like it's pretty bare bones at the moment our current setup it's basically just this and a bed and then we also have screens that magnet to the car it's just like a complete the entire window is a screen with a 
magnets that we hot glued into the fabric. And I think I'm going to redo that as well. I saw a really cool gutter guard solution instead of that. So we don't have the entire thing covered. It'll be a little more stealthy, I think. And the last thing, no, probably not the last thing, but in that gutter guard project, I want to put a little rain fly section of plastic, probably some rigid piece that would fit in there because the Subaru does not have the frame of the door does not open with it. So you can't use like a smoke, smoke guard, rain guard things. So that's the other issue. We don't want rain come in. We gotta have the mattress fold in. Probably gonna have to redo this whole thing. You can probably take the same dimensions though. So that'll be nice. We'll probably be able to scrap a lot of these sections. I guess as far as the current setup goes, we have one more little feature. To be fair, we'll, we'll show the full scope of our current setup just to have a good benchmark because it's definitely not lame it was my first time doing something like this and i didn't think of all the things you know it's kind of how things go you know you want to send it but in sending it you don't quite think of all the things and also you see how this is just kind of a pain in the ass like, they're all good ideas, and they function, but they don't quite, it's not quite nice. So, ah, we're on a not level surface. This is one other feature that we have, which is a fucking, it's a terrible pain in the ass. You can't have the bed set up, you can only have this up when, I guess, nothing is set up. And so it's like, I guess, on the road when you're on your way to go camping, it's nice. But we're not really the kind of people that are going to stop and set this whole thing up. I think I've used it once. Like it's cool, and it took a lot to design it. But it's kind of more of like a engineering school project -y type deal. It doesn't really have the biggest function factor. So, yeah. That's the current setup that we are going to try and upgrade as much as we can with the limited time and resources that we have and the goal of the upgrade is i guess primarily winterize it and uh have a comfortable place to sleep in the winter and to meet those goals we want to be able to have a section that will fold up so we can sit straight up and spend a good amount of hours in here if we do need to hole up in here with a storm coming or something we want these seats to be able to fold up so we can sit and have the desk or a desk area so this needs to shorten so the seat can fold up and uh, also needs to get higher because i got some long old legs so it needs to sit about up here and that might be the biggest challenge um, but i might actually consider raising the entire thing up here which will give us less headroom while we're while we're sleeping but it will give us more storage underneath while it's in the bed configuration as well and maybe more space to even do that drawer the drawer slide idea so yeah that's that's kind of what we're working with but yeah i guess i'll leave you guys on while i tear this down so you can see how it all goes back together and uh i think that's it for the day i'm not gonna do anything fancy i'm just gonna put it away okay and then i just smacked it out of your smile do, 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 do. Let your love shine through. Let your love shine through. We'll be sitting in the sunlight. Oh. Mattress piece on this? Yeah. It's pretty, like, really hard. That's how the mattress goes on it. <laughs> but what if. Bye. Bye. She loves me. She said she it. She said it. Do I say it back? I didn't say it you back. You don't have to say it back. Jen, if you're watching this, I love you too. Aww. I was nervous in the moment. <laughs> anyway. This, will this, will this here go up my butt? <laughs> That's to be determined. Will it, this be like too hard that it'll, you'll feel it? I hope not. We'll figure it out. Packing it up. Looking good. <laughs>
<laughs> She'll be fine. She's been through worse. Also, this sort of system is kind of tacky. Really easy to lose. Not very secure. So, not an awful setup and teardown. Not terrible, but could be better, could be worse. I'm talking to myself. Leave me alone. I definitely don't want to make it so over featured just for the sake of features like that table that we're never going to use so I definitely want to try and keep the design as simple as possible while still maximizing all the space the classic engineering problem the cheapest most efficient solution that still meets the minimum standards but in this case we want pretty decent standards so that's the dream <laughs> It is chilly out here. The things you forget about sometimes. Put this guy back in there. That blanket normally goes on the bottom, but fuck it. Can't go anywhere without Tevas, a shovel, and skateboards. It's just like the cardinal rules. Tava shovel skateboards and grip tracks. Because it's summer and I need these. <laughs> Soon we will. Hopefully. Not. Hopefully not. But we'll bring them. Anyway. That's it for now. <laughs>